So in the first video, we're going to start making the UI. So let's make a new project and you can pick between 2D or 3D. I'm just going to go with 2D and we're going to call it the PlayFab login um, system. Great. And wait for it to open. So when it's open, we can take the first scene and rename it to login uh, scene 01. And you can call it whatever you want. I like to rename my uh, folders to uh, 03 scenes and create a new folder, call it 02 scripts and create a new folder, call it uh, 02 visual that. And we're going to start to go to the asset store, open the asset store and Gonna find fantasy GUI and let's see fantasy GUI. I'm gonna set it to free asset, and there's a lot of different you can pick. For this one, I'm gonna take this uh, simple fantasy GUI, open in Unity. Then you're gonna fetch the package here and can download it and after that you can import it. Uh, I always uncheck scenes so you don't get any demo scenes in and we actually don't need these either. Um, so just import it. Like that, so we have it here now. Okay, so let's start out making a UI canvas. And if you are in 3D, you need to click on this uh, 2D button. So you can see the 2D view here. And we're gonna rename that to UI Canvas. And we're gonna make a UI panel. This will be our background. And let's just make it black and put up the color like this. And then we're gonna make a new UI panel, which is gonna be our uh, let's just make it, uh, let's put it in the middle and say, and 300 like this, or maybe actually like that, and set it to the middle like this, so we can uh, shift alt, then we go into the middle like that, and then we're going to go into the civil, uh, civil fantasy, uh, PNG, take the login, sorry, login, panel and we're gonna start on passing the login box here at the background set up the lightning to make it a little wider like that you can look at the game see how it will look and maybe choose a different kind of aspect so you can see it's quite small right now so let's make it a lot bigger like that that's better. Great. And then we're going to add some elements to this. So we're going to call this the uh, background login panel. So the first thing we're going to add is uh, some text here at the top. So we're going to right click 3D object, sorry, not UI, and Text Mesh Pro. And you can import it here. Wait on to import. And then close it down. You can write in login. And we can set it to go to the top. Take this one, put it a bit down. Take this one and scale it out. Like this. And we can actually do like that. And put it a little bit down instead. And you can put the login inside the middle that and you can also size it. So now we have login so we know what this is for and we can rename this to top text. Okay so let's make an empty game object which will be our uh, login area holder or actually yeah login area holder and scale this one so it fits this box like that. 
And here we will have all our elements to log in. So we're going to need the email, password, login, new account, and forget. So let's start making another empty one and say that this function will feel like this. And this will be our um, email input area. And then we're going to actually we're going to rename it to email login area. Uh, that. And in there we will need a text. So UI and Textmas Pro, which we say email. And we put it in the middle. And then we will set it to the top. And you can that there. Just pull it out to the corners. Like that. And then we're gonna need a, this will be the email text. Then we're gonna need the input field. So we're gonna say UI Textmas Pro input field like this. Gonna scale it out, down, out like that, and we are going to take the text area, the placeholder, put in inside the middle, auto size, maybe not auto size, I should just write 25 for this, uh, like that, and we can say enter mail instead. And then we have this one, do the same uh, here, and write 25. So this is the text that you see right now, and this is the text our users will use. So this will be renamed to email login input field. Great. So now we have this email and enter email, and we can actually just it a little bit better with oh let's see we have there we go put a new background in and make it a little bit more dark and takes the placeholder text here do that a little bit more light or actually yeah like that so there we go okay so we're gonna take this email login area and duplicate and call this one the password login area and then we also will need a UI button so button Dismiss Pro there will be our login button and let's just change the text to login and for now let's just have to uh, the size, I think, maybe a little bigger, like that. So, and 45, like that. And let's take in this sprite, put it on, take the text, change it to black, like that. So we got this login button now. And we're gonna duplicate that one and call that new account button. Change the text to new account. And then we're gonna duplicate that one also and rename it to forgot password button. And we're gonna change the text to forgot password like that so right now we have all of this and we can like you can sit and line it out and stuff like that but instead you can go into this and say vertical layout group like that and kind of depends how you want it you can have it like this something like that uh, but instead I will say middle center like this and so we have these three buttons now I just changed the text in this one to have a space um, I see a lot of people have take this one and take it down like that. So you have it like this instead, but it's up to you. So this is our login area. So we're actually just going to duplicate it and call this one our uh, register 
area holder. I'm gonna duplicate that one and call that our forgot or reset password area holder like that. So hide the login area, hide the reset password. So now we're making the register area and just for now ignore the top text. So the email login we need uh, to rename that to email register email register area and the password we're gonna rename to password register area and we have this button will be a register button now we will not have the new account button so let's delete that we will or actually put it back again we will make this to a go back button but we will not have the forgot password so the go back will be called back and the register button will be register and then we will in here change the text to this will be oh I see we forgot to change the text in the login screen so let's for now just hide it go to the login and change this text to password and change this to password text and this to password login input field uh, it will make everything easier for us in the later one if we just do it now so the placeholder will be into uh, password like that okay close the login again uh, open the password area. Uh, which is here. A register area, sorry. And let's just change this to password. And rename it to password text. And rename this to password register input. Uh, so we are changing the login to register, so we do this is for register instead. So this one will also be renamed to email register input. You don't have to do this, but it makes everything a lot easier. Uh, and then I think we will add uh, one more of these and put on top. And we will actually call this uh, username register area because I will add the function so people can have a username. So this will be username text. We will write username like that. And we will make this username register input. And we will see uh, this one will be enter username. And I can see in the password, we need to go to the placeholder and find and the password. Okay, so this is how we want our register page to look like. Don't change this name, we'll do that by code. But for now, this will be the tree function, then we create register and so on. And lastly, we will have the reset password system, uh, which is gonna need the email login error, but not the password because they are asking for that. We will need a, a reset password button and we will change the text to reset or recover. They, they don't need a new account button like that. Oh, I can read it. We need this button to be go back button. And change the text to back. We will not need this one. So like that. So that one was fairly easy and fast. And we could just name it, change the name here to email uh, recover text recover and then we will have the email recover input. Okay, great. That will be our UI.